Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Keep It Techie, where we break down Linux, open source tech, and everything in between. Now today we're talking about something fresh, and that's Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS. Yeah, it just dropped, and while it may not be the most mind-blowing release, it's got some things worth knowing if you're setting up a new system. So what's new? Should you install it? And how does it stack up against the previous releases? Stick around, and let's get into it. All right, so first things first, Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS is not a brand new version of Ubuntu. It's a point release. And what does that mean? Instead of shaking things up with major changes, it basically updates the existing Ubuntu 24.04 LTS with all the latest security patches, bug fixes, and a new Linux kernel. And if you're already running Ubuntu 24.04 or 24.04.1, there's no need to reinstall. Just update your system and boom, you're already on 24.04.2. But if you're setting up a new system, this release saves you from downloading a ton of updates after installation. So it's like getting a fresh pre patch version of Ubuntu. Now let's get into the real updates. This release brings Linux kernel 6.11 and Mesa 24.2, both backported from Ubuntu 24.10. So that means if you're running newer hardware, maybe a fresh out the line AMD GPU or the latest Intel laptop, you're gonna have better support right out of the box. And since kernel updates improve performance and stability, you might even notice a smoother experience on existing hardware. Now, one thing you should keep in mind though, if you're looking for cutting edge features, you might want to check out Ubuntu 24.10 instead, or just wait for 25.04 which drops in about two months. If you need a rock solid long-term support system, Ubuntu 24.04.2 is where it's at. Hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community driven, open source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you wanna keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community, for the community, and it's here to stay. Stay techy, y'all. All right, so let me quickly run through the install. I have the latest ISO booted up in a virtual machine, but as you can see, it's nothing really changed. Accessibility settings, keyboard layout. I use wired connection, which is fine. It's a virtual machine, so it has a virtual NIC in it. So we can roll through that. We can install or try. Let's install. And then you can do interactive installation. And then there's an automated installation for advanced users who have a auto install.yaml for consistent and repeatable system setups. And this is good for like systems administrators. If they're setting up Ubuntu at an office space and you need to go through and install Ubuntu on multiple, multiple machines, this is a fast way of doing it. But let's do the interactive so you guys can see. Uh, default selection. So that includes the essentials and web browser and basic utilities. The extended selection is an offline friendly selection of office tools utilities and web browsers i'm gonna just roll with the defaults just to make the install quick uh, you can install your third pretty graphics and wi-fi hardware i'm gonna just click on it i really don't need to because i don't have anything on here but also download install support for additional media formats that's fine and then set up our drive super easy let's go up in the advanced features so i can show you guys everything that's in here so you got none you could do lvm which i'll just click on and use lvm you can also use zf which is cool 
and I've seen they've been adding this more and more to the system, but it's still in experimental mode, so to speak, but erase this to use ZFS. Uh, you can also use LVM and encryption, but down here also it says you can erase this and use ZFS with it, which is super cool. And then right here, you got enable hardware backed full disencryption. So you got those options, but let's uh, just roll with that. We're gonna set up LVM and next set up our account super cool super easy i'll just put josh in there and then we can do ubuntu and then let's set a quick password and require my password on login and you can also use active directory location and then that's it this is a review of everything you selected so all we have to do is hit install and i'll go through the install and i really like this new installer it's super cool but you can check out what's happening is actually downloading stuff right now you can close that back as well but that's pretty much it on the install the biggest reason you'll want to grab this iso is for new installations and if you've ever installed ubuntu before you know that the first thing you usually got to do is download a ridiculous number of updates if you grab ubuntu 24.04.2 all those security patches and fixes are already baked in. So there's no waiting, no extra downloads, just install and go. And you could grab the ISO from the official Ubuntu website and it's available in all usual flavors. So Ubuntu desktop, the server, and the community editions like Kubuntu, Zubuntu, or Lubuntu. So should you install Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS? It depends. If you're already on Ubuntu 24.04 or 24.04.1, just update your system and keep it moving. But if you're setting up a fresh install, this release is a no-brainer, especially if you're running newer hardware that benefits from kernel 6.11. Now, if you're the kind of Linux user who's always chasing the newest features, this release might not be your focus. You'd probably be better off running 24.10 or another rolling release distro like Orch. But for folks who need stability and long-term support, this latest long-term supported release is the move for you. All right, y'all, so that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments, are you planning to install Ubuntu 24.04.2 or are you sticking with what you've got? And if you find this video helpful, do me a favor, go down and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future Linux content. Also, if you want to check out the channel, go down and check out the channel's membership. And I'm also working on releasing some Keep It Techie merch. But until next time, keep it techie, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind. But think about this, the time is going to pass anyway, so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills, it opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it techie.